Hey everybody, sorry my hand was there. I don't know how to start the camera without doing that. But nonetheless, got my Christmas stuff. This thing right here, I'm not even going to worry about. You didn't even see it. It's, I'll get to that later. But I have my Christmas stuff. Show you all what it is. Let's get down to business. First is, it says for film collection, but I call it the Jason Statham collection. It has Crank, Crank 2. War and Transporter 3. Everyone know. Everyone knows the third one's the best. I actually have Grand Theft Auto 5 going on right there, and it's like should be close to be saying it's been an hour. You should turn off your system because it's been sitting. But nonetheless, love Jason Statham. Great ass kicker. That's all I need to say. <laughs> this one is iRobot sci-fi collection. So I found it. iRobot Independence Day, uh, Prometheus, and the Abyss. Um, have not seen Abyss or Prometheus, so this is kind of unique for me to one's one's mixed well both mixed one's received a little more with ire because it fucked up so much for like fans uh, fan bits of a part of actually which i fucking hate the fact that the space jockeys are now big people <laughs> anyway Comedy, 80 comedies. I already have Ferris Bueller, but I just saw this really good movie actually. I'm actually really glad I watched it at Christmas. But I've never seen Airplane Naked Gunner, Police Academy. Although my sister says I have seen it, I don't remember it. But nonetheless, looking forward to watching those three. Definitely gonna be uh, something I'm gonna like pop in one day soon. Probably when my dad and my mom go. My dad's taking my mom out to dinner. I shut the tab off and okay my computer had an open tab where it was doing music and shit okay next I'm gonna show you the other two because you've already seen them it's a uh, forbidden world and lost forbidden planet and galaxy of terror which you pretty sure you've already seen but I got star crash and uh, battle beyond the stars say so, yeah, as you can say very star warsy kind of stuff this one's not really a Star Wars, uh... Excuse me. This one is not really Star Wars rip-off territory. It's much more than that. It's actually Magnificent Seven in space. But it's really good. I actually watched it. It has amazing production value for a movie of its kind. It's only like $2 million. And even Special Features talks about, like, oh my god, how much trouble they had. But it's amazing. I mean... Oh my god, guys, it looks so good. The opening shot, I was in, I was like, whoa, this looks really good. And seriously, if you love B-movies, get this movie. And it stars John Saxon. Why am I thinking Robert Sales? It's Robert Vaughn. <laughs> uh, oh, Richard Telemus. There's somebody else. Sybil Danning. She's actually around the back with her face, like, really, I'm in this movie. But she actually really likes the movie. She actually uh, had an um, interview with uh, John Saxon with another guy. And she was just like, I love it because I used to, when I was in Europe, I used to have to do my makeup outside behind a tree and get dressed there. And she was like, but now that I'm out in America, I have my own trailer. Sort of. And she was, like, she was all excited and she was so happy to be a part of it. So that's pretty cool. And John Saxon's like, oh, it's just a cheesy movie, you know. The fans are great and all that. So I love this movie for that. It also has, I believe, Galen Hurd as the producer, John Sales as the writer, and James Horner as the composer. Yeah, a lot of really big names, as well as James Cameron as the art director. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of big names. Um, Next, Star Crash, which is the campiest, cheesiest ripoff of Star Wars ever, and I fucking love it. It has a ton of special features. Seriously, if you've never seen this movie, check it out. It's got Caroline Monroe, uh, what's, how do you pronounce his name again? Marjo Gortner. He was a, a television evangelist, but he turned into an actor, and he's amazing. 
and Judd Hamilton. <laughs> Judd Hamilton, who was Caroline Monroe's husband at the time, voices L. He's actually the Vader-looking guy, but he's not really a Darth Vader. He's actually a droid. So I'm actually really glad about that. Um, two discs, tons of special features. I mean, seriously, this is probably the most special features I've seen on a DVD ever. And I've owned a lot of DVDs, but nonetheless, great movie. But, but, for all you Whovians out there, Series 8. Oh yeah, I'm going to marathon run this. I actually saw the first two episodes already, but I can't remember too much about the first episode. I know there was a dinosaur, but that's about it. And then, saw Into the Dalek, because I love Dalek stories. Uh, Day of the Dalek, um, the special edition. Special, the special edition? Yeah, yeah, where they updated all the stuff and crap. It's amazing. Seriously, go watch that one. Anyway, entire series including special features disc, which is like the ultimate doctor and ultimate companion and a couple other stuff. But I didn't get the Christmas episode because my uncle said, you know, he bought it. He was like, yeah. And he's like, I didn't get it with the season pass on iTunes. He's like, I don't understand. So he said by like Christmas, I'll buy my birthday, which is the 23rd. It's going to be uh, in my grasp. Next. Sorry. We have the coup de gras. Walls and grommet. I we used to have taped um oh, what's it called? VHSs. We used to have two taped VHSs and my god guys, this was what we watched all the time. This was the ultimate in DVD in VHS ever. I mean, it was like an hour and a half of the greatest show ever, and my computer just went dark because Norton decided to start. And uh, has every single uh, movie A Grand Day Out, The Long Trousers, um, A Close Shave, A Matter of Loaf and Death, which is actually the one that was made in 2008. It was pretty recent actually and it has a ton of sp uh, special features uh, Nick Park commentary audio commentary on a grand day out actually in all three of the originals okay why is that not going away all right cracking contraptions which is just awesome Let's see audio commentary with Nick Park how they do it uh, just all kinds of stuff and it's got the awesome cracking contraptions seriously those are awesome oh that's why they didn't stop and does not have the the theater released a theater movie you know um the curse of the were rabbit but it doesn't need to because this is walls and grommet and slide this back on really quick so yeah that is all my uh um DVDs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because uh, you'll be seeing me do an Otaku Factor on all of the James Cam Roger Corman movies and I will see you guys next time. Bye.